What's going on, social media family? Hope everybody's having a great day. Today, I got the one and only Malachi with me. Hey guys. Super excited about having her. And remember, go subscribe to her YouTube channel. She is always putting out amazing videos on God, motivation, and fashion. I haven't tapped into the fashion <laughs> videos yet. I'll just stick with the God and the motivation. But she's always just inspired to make people better. So let's jump into this word real quick. We're going to dive into it. This is in Proverbs 18, 21. It says, your words are so powerful that they will kill or they will give life. And I want you to think about that. Your words are very powerful. With your words to the people around you, you build them up or you tear them down. Now talk about yourself. How you speak about yourself, it really matters. You're building yourself up or you're tearing yourself down. The Bible says that King David encouraged his self daily, that every day he would wake up and he would speak life over himself because a lot of people were coming against him. In this world today, you've got to be motivation for yourself. You've got to wake up. You've got to remind yourself of the prophetic words, You know, make declarations over your prophetic words and build yourself up every single day because there is a world out there that needs your gift, but they will also try to tear you down. So I really heard, I heard something the other day, and it says, your brain believes what you tell it. So I think that's super important because whenever you look in the mirror, what do you say about yourself? Um, Sadie Robertson, she actually said one of the things that really helped her with her self-confidence is whenever she would get in the mirror and she would say positive things about herself. Sometimes whenever I go to high school, you hear a lot of people say negative things about themselves. They're like, oh, I look terrible today. Oh, I'm doing bad today. And just, they're just so negative. And it just really hurts me to think that you, their brain believes what they tell it. So whatever they're telling themselves, all this negative stuff, they're just feeding negative lies to their brain. And whenever you're negative to your brain, then you're just in a bad mood. So that is some negative things you can say towards yourself that you don't want to get into. But another thing is, remember your words can plant gardens or burn whole forests down. So whenever I read that, I thought about your words can encourage other people or tear them down. So be careful what you say to other people. You never know what happened to them before they came in contact with you. Your encouragement, your compliments can like plant gardens. I think that is so amazing the way that they worded that. Or it can just tear them down and just make them have a terrible day. So be careful what you say to yourself and be careful what you say to other people. That's so good. You know, we're a YouTube family. I have a channel. My wife has a channel. Malik has a channel. Our youngest son, Ezra, has a channel. Judah, she doesn't have a channel, but she helps with all of our channels. And there's times that I'll be traveling in, around America preaching and people come up to me and say, Hey, remember this one day you released this video? I'll be like, yeah. And they said, that video kept me in the race. I felt you were speaking just to me. I said, oh, I was. I was. And they were like, that word encouraged me so much. You looked right in the camera and said, you can make it. You can do everything God has called you to do. Whatever God has spoken to you, you can see. If you can see it in your spirit, you can see it in the natural. And so you have to understand that, you know, I look at myself every morning and sometimes I say, well, hello, good looking. But I look at myself in the mirror every day and I say, you are a man of God. You're an amazing husband. You're an amazing father. You're a great apostle. You, you lead a great church and a great movement. And God is going to use you mightily today. No words are going to come against you. No words are going to offend you. You're not going to harbor any hard feelings towards anybody else. But you will do everything God says you're going to do today. I tell myself that every day. And then I go to my quiet time with the Lord. And then God speaks to me. He encourages me. He lifts me up. And then this is what I do. I start going over every prophetic word that I can remember. I pray over my family, I pray over our businesses, our ministries, and I make declamations, proclamations, and decrees. I make declarations over every one of my family members every day, over our church, our apostolic family, over our health coaching business, everything that I do. Before my kids go to school, in prayer, before they get up, I make declarations over them because there is power of life in my tongue. Yes. Also, another thing I was thinking about is sometimes people will tell you negative things, but you just have to know not to believe it. So whenever people are negative to you, be your own motivational speaker. Feed yourself good motivation because I think that's so amazing. When other people don't motivate you, motivate yourself. See what God has inside of you because you 
are so precious. If only y'all could know how much God loves you and how much he just put into y'all. So just know your worth. Know how much God has inside of you and live that out. So be your own motivational speaker. And, and one thing I want you to do is hopefully everybody here subscribes to our, our YouTube channel or watches on Facebook. But our family, we give our life to help people. And when you get in the Word of God, it encourages you so much. Ephesians, that's my book, y'all. That's my jam. I love Ephesians. So when you get into the Word every day, and then you allow God to speak to your heart, it changes everything. But let's talk about the natural. Let's take it a step further. Who do you listen to? What voices do you listen to? Like my wife, she listens to two or three podcasts a day. She listens to, to people uh, like she loves Terry Savelle Foy. She listens to Dave Ramsey, T.D. Jake, Steve Furtick. She has a wide variety of people that she listens to. I listen to, to all of those people as well. I like Ron Carpenter Jr., Ryan Lestrange. And so I'm always listening to, to, to Apostle John Eckhart, Apostle Dutch Sheets, Kim Malone, these different people. So I have people constantly speaking into my life on YouTube, on podcast, you need people that speak to your life. You need people, you know, a lot of times people say, well, I don't have a church or a ministry around me that feeds me. There are more videos online and more podcasts and YouTube channels that you can subscribe to that when I say, when you listen to them, it makes your baby jump. When you listen to them, it gets you excited. You need people that when they speak, it encourages you to move forward in what God has called you to do. And also, don't just look to receive. You have something inside of you that you have to get out. You need to be somebody else's motivation. You need to be that voice into somebody else's life. So if you're ever sitting there, the Holy Spirit reminds you, hey, call this person, message this person, speak into this person's life, do it. Mm-hmm. Thank you.